Good evening, wonderful people of Facebook land and Twitter, because I have, yes, I've clicked the Twitter button tonight. So good evening to you all. I hope you've had an awesome weekend and the week has started really good for you. So let me tell you what I've been doing. Just ignore all the stuff behind me. I have been filming today. Um, filming for my new email marketing campaign that we start in a few weeks time it's very exciting um but there's lots to do so many moving parts in any sort of marketing strategy there's so much work to it people just don't realize but anyway i'll talk about that another time um i'll give it a couple of seconds and if you are new to StreamYard and you haven't been on here before, there's a little message in the box above that says if you can register with StreamYard, it'll then show your name in the comments should you wish to make any comments. So let me start for anybody that's new by introducing myself. So I am Mandy, Mandy Nicholson. I never assume everybody knows who I am. I'm Mandy, Mandy Nicholson, and I am a creative genius consultant, artist and author, and I help innovative female entrepreneurs that I can't pronounce um, to launch, grow and scale their creative business and make more moolah. Because us creative ladies are historically not particularly good as entrepreneurs or business people. I nearly swore there and I don't want to upset your kids. We are amazingly creative with our brains, our thinking and our doing, but not so good when it comes to business. Well, that's some, not all, and I'm one of the not all because I spent 20 years working in the wrong job to learn how to do the business bit. And then I've brought that and added it to the creativity, which is a unique thing, I think. Anyway, tonight I'm going to be just chatting to you about how fear, this ugly thing that we all sort of look at, and make into this monstrous face or this monstrous image, fear, how it can stop us from leading our, our most amazing lives that we were set out when we were born to actually take the road of. We, we are supposed to have this amazing life. And then we can be held back so much by this thing that we called fear, that we call fear. Now, I want you to remember that fear is just a word. That's where I'm going to start with this. Fear is just a four-letter word, all right? Like all the other four-letter words, it's actually quite rude. Um, and that's all it is. And we have named it that because we need to give things a name so that we can understand things when we're talking. But fear shows up so differently for all of us, and it has its origins in a really sound place. It's a really, really useful, faithful emotion that takes us into action. It served us so, so well when we were in danger from other species, when we were in, whenever we're in danger from anything, fear serves us so well. So why do we think of it so negatively? This is the question I want to pose tonight. And we do. I've got fear of spiders or I've got a fear of heights or I've got a fear of this or a fear of the other. And ask yourself the question, why do you have that fear? What is it that triggered that fear for you sometime in your past? Because fear is an, it's a reaction and an emotion that is unleashed upon us by our own brain, by our own brain, that picks up signals that we are sweating, maybe breathing heavy, feeling uncomfortable about something. So fear shows up and then says, this actually might not be good for you because you're feeling like this. And in actual fact, fear should be acknowledged every single time. And we need to thank that feeling because it keeps us from making the wrong decision. So if you're standing on the edge of a wall and there's a 40 foot drop and fear is showing up, it's showing up at the right time, at the right place for the right reason. And it's gonna stop you jumping or falling. 
if fear shows up when you're about to launch your business because you're going into the unknown and all these people around you or society are saying this is scary it's scary marketing oh my god cash flow loans um strategy business plans cash flow project projections what's all of this and this sounds really complicated and really scary so sometimes fear can stop us doing things that are actually all just a series of problems to solve and there's nothing more scary about it than that and in fact that's what i've been filming today i've been filming some basic steps um, as to how you should approach business in general and how business success comes about. There is nothing to fear. There is knowledge to be gained. That's it, Lot knowledge to be gained. And yet, fear can be debilitating. It can stop people from having relationships. It can stop people from bringing something amazing and wonderful to this planet, to this earth, to other people that was not there before. And that saddens me. It saddens me not just a little bit, but a big bit, because I think there are so many people out there, and I work with women, so I'm gonna say women, there are so many women out there who have amazing ideas and amazing products and amazing services and amazing skills who are not bringing them out into the business world and trying to sell them because they are scared that they have got to be a certain thing. They have got to be a salesperson. They've got to be a marketeer. They've got to be this. Do you know what? Somebody, whoever these people are, marketeers, were not marketeers once. They were just normal people like you and me who didn't know anything about marketing and they learned it. Good business and finance people were not that once. They learned it. All of these skills are things that can be learned and learned fairly easily. But the internet's quite a confusing place at the minute. And I think it's almost instilling fear. And we're in a fearful time, a really fearful time. Something that we've never known before. We have, in our, we've seen wars and we've seen disruption and we've seen riots and we've seen many things. But we've never been locked indoors for this amount of time with a virus. There's never been anything that's brought us to our knees like this before in our history. So fear is heightened at the moment. The fear of the unknown, the fear of what's going to happen to me, the fear of what if. These are new fears that have been instilled in us over the last six months. And I don't think that the government's behavior around the world, not just in this country. Some countries have been leaders in this. I don't think all governments have got this right. And I think there's a potentially been, we've created this, this va vacuum of fear by telling us we can do something one minute and we can't the next. And I'm not criticizing anybody. It's just a fact of life. That's what's happened around the globe. And when that adds a layer of fear on, you kind of had this good idea about your business before COVID and you were really fired up and you really wanted to do this and you were, that's it, I'm going to really go for it this year. And then COVID happened. It's almost like it pulled the rug from beneath you and your thinking is all over the place. And I've spoken to so many women at the minute that are so fearful. But then there's never been a better time. And, and honestly, I could punch myself in the face for saying there's never been, been a better time because everybody's saying that at the minute. But here's some facts, yeah? I'm not just going to say that without any anything to back it up. Online business is 367% up year on year. 367% up year on year. Online product-based businesses, artists, creatives, so your crafty products, your art, um, your scented candles, your wax melts, your, whatever you're making, up 42% year on year, $107 billion more than last year. So I'm not just going to say that there's never been a better time because the facts actually back this up. So there hasn't ever been a better time. And if fear is holding you back right now 
from making the leap into your online business, have a look at your newsfeed because everybody's doing it. Have a look at your newsfeed. If it's not already irritating you, it will be once you start to notice the amount of adverts that are rolling through your newsfeed with new people, new products. There's a million more coaches than, than there was at the start of COVID. Everybody's trying to sell you this get rich quick or this quick fix or here's a year's content for social media or here's this or here's that. All little bolt-ons. And there's lots of them, so it's really confusing. And what does confusion cause? It causes fear. So we're in this, this, this vacuum that's circulating round and creating more and more uncertainty and fear in the environment that we're in right now. And if you're thinking about going into business, if you're in business already and things are stagnant or not moving forward, the last thing you want to hear is somebody that's doing better than you telling you why they're doing better than you. Because it can be really dreadful to hear that. So I'm not saying that tonight. What I'm saying is everybody's in the same boat, guys. I'm not going to tell you what I earn and this is what you could earn. Everybody's in the same boat. And those that keep fighting and those that can actually accept that fear is there and keep moving forward are the ones that are going to keep having success. I'm not going to give you any other bullshit other than that. That's not bullshit, by the way. I'm not going to give you any of the bullshit. I'm going to say to you that even the people that you think are doing really, really well are having to work twice as hard right now as they were before COVID. And if they tell you any different, then they're not telling the truth. And that's the truth. Um, I mean, there's obviously the people at the top 10% that are always doing well. They've got so many multiple in income streams that are fixed, that, that are, are regular and that have been long term, that they're always going to be OK. So if you're at the bottom and you feel like this little tadpole at the bottom, of course, you're going to be scared. You're going to be scared shitless about making that step forward and making the decision to go and dive in and actually give it a go. But honestly, find the right advice. That's all I would say. I'm not saying I'm the right advice for you because that depends. If you're a creative female, I might be. If you're not a creative female, then maybe I'm not. But find the right person to give you the right advice, to take you on your path and help you because if you try and do it alone right now, that's where the struggle's gonna get worse and the fear gets bigger and more difficult to manage. So don't let it hold you back. That was my message tonight. And I want to talk to you about something that I've put together for creative people. This is for women and men, not just women. Um, because in amongst all this, this awful fear that we're experiencing at the minute, I had a really wonderful conversation with four of my creative peers, all doing different things about why don't we create a space for creatives that isn't about showing up and showing your art or trying to sell your art to other artists because it's only artists on the page or doing the same old thing. And let's create a space for all these creative people to come to so that they can build up their confidence and learn some new things and give them the confidence that they need and take away the fear that might be sitting with them right now and give them the confidence to take the leap and actually move forward. So that was one of my little side projects during COVID. So I'm really happy to talk about that with you tonight in that we've created this amazing group called The Creative Calling, The Calling All Creatives. And it's literally, we've put it together for a tenor, tenor a month, a tenor a month, and there's five of us. So there's me, and I'm obviously a creative business coach, arted, artist and author, so I bring my knowledge and experience to the group. And then there's Nick, who is a copywriter and author, who is our word whore, um, in the group and she is amazing at teaching you how to write copy and really talk about your amazing unique skills and then there's Kerry who is our resident upcycler and bullying specialist 
um, who actually helps people through bullying, women through bullying, through actually upcycling furniture at the same time. It's an amazing, amazing gift and program that she's got. And then there's the lovely Lucy, who is our abstract artist and children's author and all round creative genius. And then the amazing Nathan. And Nathan is a digital artisan the tech guy but also a bit of a hippie who does meditation so there's such a mixed bag of creatives um, and i've put the link in they're either above or to the side depending on where you're watching this video on facebook so if you're interested in joining us in the creative calling then you know click the link and join up it's a tenner a month and it'll all happen through that link that's the dog moving away around in the background there i don't know why he's so unsettled but he may have heard food outside the door with one of the kids. So creating, putting together this space for creatives who are feeling really nervous at the moment was one of my tick boxes that I wanted to do on my mission. Because I want to, I think there's a, with creatives, there's this history of I can produce this creative work, you know, art or crafts or whatever it is. I can try and sell it through my little Facebook page or I can take it to a gallery or a shop who will take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%. I've seen some of them take of my sales value. So I'm getting very little um, out of this piece of genius that I've created. And I find that really sad that that's just the only way that we do it. Or they bang it on Etsy or Pinterest and, and cross the fingers and hope for the best. And I wanted to educate a little bit more in this creative space. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot more than this and there's no need to sit in fear um, when you're a creative genius. And it can be a lonely place um, as a creative. And when you're lonely and isolated and no, not everybody thinks like you or looks like you or is a bit wacky like you, you can feel like the odd one out. So that's what the creative calling brings. Um, so I wanted to talk about that in this live tonight, because, again, in terms of alleviating fear and giving people confidence in tough times, that it's still OK to run ahead with your plans, then there needs to be the right spaces for you to go. Um, in fact, I've just joined a new group myself this week that is actually just about friendship and meeting new people, because there are so many groups that you're in and people are trying to sell to each other and always trying to pitch and it can be really, really frustrating and irritating. You can't buy from everybody and you can't do everybody's course and you can't do everybody's five day challenge and you can't do everybody's whatever. You've got to try and hone in on what's right for you because honing in on what's right for you is where you're going to start removing fear. And I see fear. It's like layers, isn't it? If you've got something that's stopping you in your tracks, you ask yourself the question is, why am I feeling like this? What is it that's stopping me taking this next step? What is it? Exactly what is it? Why am I feeling like this? And what is it that's stopping me moving forward? So how do I fix that? Here's how I, here's how I need to fix that. Let's first of all, give you your most amazing manifesting tool. Yeah, this is the top tip from me business coach and successful businesswoman, you're the best manifesting tool that you have is free. And it's called the power of asking. Yeah. You never know unless you ask whether somebody has the knowledge you need or whether somebody can help you. And finding the courage to ask a question is something that is the basics that you can start with in order to get you past these fears or difficulties that you may be experiencing that are holding you back from being where you want to be. I've asked many people questions and I've got many no's and many yeses in my time. I don't care about the no's, but the yeses move me forward. I'd rather ask 100 questions and get one positive answer and not be deterred than not ask the questions at all. And I think for me, that's probably the best weapon I can put in your armory against fear is to accept that fear is there to help you. It's there to keep you grounded and help you make the right decision. And that actually your way out of fear is questions, asking them, asking people, asking yourself questions. 
and put yourself in the right groups and the right places that are actually serving you. If you're in a group and it doesn't serve you and you never go in it, for goodness sake, come out of it. If you're on a page that's triggering you or is not giving you any value in your life, unlike the page and leave it and come away from it. If there are people on your social media that are not serving you, that are triggering you, that are not your people, you don't need the numbers on there. You need the right people. Better to have a hundred of the right people than a thousand of the wrong people who are not serving you. That's how I look at things because fear is about building the defense mechanisms around you. It's almost like building a fort, isn't it? So here's some of your armory, asking questions, surrounding yourself by the right people, with the right people who really genuinely care about your progress and who are able to add value to your life. That's part of your armory against fear. And doesn't matter where you're feeling that fear, whether it is about moving forward with your business or starting your business or whether it's in your life, this armory is there to help you, but you've got to build it. No one's going to do it for you. You've got to build it. You create this bricks and mortar, these shields and lances that go around you and keep you safe. But then what is safe? We are never, ever going to be fully safe from everything, are we? Look at us. We're fighting a disease that we have not beaten so far and are highly unlikely to in a long time. We do the best we can with our masks and all the other things and social distancing and following the rules as best we can. But has that moved us any further forward as yet? No, it really hasn't. So all you can do is all you can do. So here's your top tips for fear. Get yourself, surround yourself by with the right people, the people who add value, the people who care, the people who think like you, the people who get you. Those people are your people. Anybody outside of that, not your people. Ask questions where you need help. If you're coming up against a brick wall, if the brick wall is yourself and your own fears, ask questions. Ask for help. If you get 10 no's and one yes, you've won. Those are my top tier tips with fear, fear right now, right now, as we sit in this environment that we're in. But above all else, I'm going to remind you of those statistics that I gave you earlier on. If you are thinking about moving your business online, if you are thinking about growing your business this is the time to invest. This is the time to do it. Invest in the right help to take you in the right direction with your business in the right way. Because you want, do you want to be part of that year on year increase as we go into the rest of this year and into next year? Because you not think the one place that's always, always going to stay open, no matter what happens outside the walls that you're in, is the internet. Yes, there's some scammers on there, but there's also loads of good people. Find them, connect with them, watch them, listen to them, see what they're posting, see if you feel like it's genuine and stick with them and then ask for help when the time is right. So I hope that's been of some help for you tonight, alleviating some of your fears if you've got any right now. If you are thinking about going into business, never been a better time get the right help, surround yourself with the right people. Always do this. Look at everything that you're in and surround yourself with the right people. I will see you. And if, you know, feel free, if you're watching this on replay, please comment. Please always leave me comments. Ask me questions. I'm happy to answer them. And I'll always come back as soon as I get the notif notification. I will always come back and answer your questions. Join me again next Tuesday evening at the same time at seven o'clock and I will be on here talking about whatever I'm talking about next week. That's a week away. I've already written it, but I can't remember it. <laughs> Welcome to my world. And I will see you then. Have a fabulous week. I hope you can get over whatever fears are holding you back. And if you can't, you know what to do. See you next week. <laughs>